When you think of God, what comes into your mind? Some people, when they think of God, they think of some angry tyrant who's sitting up there in the sky waiting to throw lightning bolts down, some cosmic cop, some bully of the universe who's waiting to just deal you a bummer and say, don't do that. Other people think the exact opposite. They've got this little namby-pamby God who God is this doddering, toothless grandfather who really is kind of impotent, can't do anything, and he watches you do wrong, and he goes, you know, he kind of winks at you and he goes, no, that's, no, don't do that, but he's still letting you do it. And, you know, he's just a big mush puddle. Uh, and then some people think that God is like this apathetic creator who kind of winds up the earth and then just watches it run down and goes, well, isn't that nice? Jesus Christ came along and exploded all the misconceptions about God in two words. He said, let me tell you how you say God, how you talk to God. You say, our Father. He said, God wants to be known as your Father. And that's why the creed starts out, I believe in God the Father. Now, uh, that means I don't believe in God the Mother. I believe in God the Father. Now, we know the Bible teaches that God is neither male nor female. God does not have a sexual being to him. And the Bible says that he created males and females to express his image. He said, let us create man in our own image, and in the male and female, he created them. So part of the male character represents part of God's character, and part of the female represents, so God cannot be expressed in simply one thing. But he said, you are to call me Father. Father. 